As I mentioned, they are in the process of deploying our product called IP Control, which is an IP address management solution. And uh, what IP Control brings to the table for them, why they chose our solution, was uh, the fact that it supports a topological and hierarchical v6 and v4 allocation mode. So allocation can be automated uh, simply by clicking a few, a few mouse clicks and have the system figure out the next block to pick, whether it's sparse or random or best fit. We also do support host and node IP address tracking. So again, not just the listing of IP addresses, but v4, v6 addresses on a node level to track from a transition perspective. It helps to eliminate duplicate assignments. It provides, of course, a centralized address repository of that information for the plan of record. And we do support a number of audit and history reports as well. And the APIs facilitate network management integration, not only from the upstream level in terms of the traditional API gets and sets, but also from a downstream perspective. We do have a number of call-out functionality uh, that, uh, that enables the system-driven actions to drive downstream events as well. And lastly, scalability. Again, uh, very critical for even modest-sized networks looking to go to V6. Our second government agency, uh, their requirements somewhat similar, some overlap here, but basically the need to manage IPv4 and V6. And again, from a scalability perspective, 5 million V4 addresses today but in the order of tens of octillions of IPv6 addresses in the future. So a uh, huge amount of address space to track. And again, the uh, dual stack, the multi-interface tracking was critical for them as well. Support for distributed DHCP and DNS. So along with that address plan, let's say for a given subnet, you might have one or more address pools on the subnet. And uh, to make sure that it doesn't overlap with any static addresses you have, that's really where using an overall address management system can help reduce errors in that assignment. And based on that assignment, the uh, appropriate configurations can be deployed down to DHCP and DNS servers. Um, they also had a requirement for internet registry reporting. So the RIR, in their case, it was Aaron. Uh, they needed to be able to send basically emails to Aaron whenever they allocated or modified or deleted a block. So uh, that was another requirement to keep them in sync. Uh, multiple administrators. For a modest to large size organization, you're likely going to have multiple administrators who are managing addresses, managing DHCP, DNS, perhaps different portions of the network. So they really needed that ability to delegate administration to sub-administrators. They also needed to be able to track additional information on subnets as well as devices, point of contact type information, asset type information, and the like. So being able to customize the other attributes that go with those various entities was likewise a requirement. Uh, monitoring and tracking of compliance, this really gets back to the auditing requirement as well and the reporting. Uh, disaster recovery, uh, again, just to make sure that not only are DHCP and DNS servers highly available, which are required for the end clients doing resolution or attempting to get addresses, but also the centralized management system itself to make sure that access to that database, that, that centralized repository is provided even in the event of a disaster. And then bind and active directory support. So getting down to the DNS and DHCP server level, being able to support a variety of DNS and DHCP implementations uh, to facilitate a migration, perhaps, to an appliance-based solution. So again, their solution, uh, IP control. Uh, and uh, basically, we did support v6 as of four years ago. Uh, so basically, the first IPv4 v6 comprehensive IPAM system on the market. And uh, so we've basically cut our teeth with that, and we've learned, learned a lot. And uh, I think uh, we've definitely, uh, from our perspective, certainly have a most feature-rich solution in that regard. Production proven scalability, multiple IPs per interfaces as well. And uh, just some of the highlights here, the internet registry reporting. So that is a function we do support. So if you do get your space directly from Aaron, for example, that is something that can, can, can continue or be automated uh, with, uh, with IP control. Uh, the administrator policies, of course, as well. Being able to control who can do what where, and uh, uh, that, that, again, is a key, uh, key aspect to delegating the administration, uh, as well as several of the other features that we've talked about. It. And just jumping down to the bottom here, support for native Microsoft and uh, Internet System Consortium, or ISC, uh, really the two leading reference implementations available uh, for DHCP and DNS services. So having that multi-vendor support just facilitates, again, management of a native environment if I don't want to change out my DHCP DNS. But it also facilitates a migration should you want to go to an appliance model for simplicity and uh, a more integrated control. Uh, it also facilitates that where you can manage the current environment and migrate at your own pace.
to an appliance-based solution. So basically the conclusions of all we've talked about here this afternoon, uh, again, you know, going from point A to point B, it's always a good idea to know where you are at point A. So try to, try to course knowing your starting point, and I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence here or what have you, but uh, you'd be surprised how many customers we go into and their spreadsheets are not quite accurately reflecting the IPv4 network that's out there. So typically a good idea in general, but particularly when charting a course for a migration or a coexistence with IPv6. Uh, from that baseline, you can then plan your V6 deployment again based on your comfort level with the technology and your you know, competency of your staff. Uh, certainly lab uh, implementations recommended initially, but you know, even in production rollouts, doing it in, in a controlled or friendly environment, if you will, and uh, implementing it there and just identifying any issues and stepping through that, but all along the way, managing the address space with a comprehensive IPAM solution. Um, again, we've talked about the hierarchical nature. Again, I can't stress it enough just in terms of the requirement for V6 hierarchical allocation. So having a, a tool, uh, whether it's a spreadsheet or an IPAM system, to be able to ma manage that hierarchical allocation is a critical requirement. Uh, and then choosing your address assignment technique, uh, DHCPv6. It is supported now with ISC 4.0 as well as Microsoft Server 2008. So it is uh, something that has uh, just been introduced actually this year. Uh, but that versus auto configuration, really again, just more of a policy decision that uh, must be decided upon. The technologies are there to support either or both, but uh, uh, DHB can actually be used to supplement auto configuration as well. And then lastly, again, DNS. So DNS is critical in terms of delegating administration of DNS at the zone level to make sure not only your IP6.ARPA zones are properly delegated, but any forward zones you're using as well. And then down at the node level, managing the quad A records, the A records, other types of resource records that are associated with different devices out there, CNames, MX, et cetera, and being able to manage those in one comprehensive IPAM system is again a, uh, uh, what we would recommend as well. Just to summarize, with respect to the IP control solution, we've heard a little bit about it already with respect to some of the key features our customers have uh, found uh, uh, very appealing with respect to uh, going ahead with deployment. Uh, but basically, we do obviously support v4 and v6, a hierarchical nature. You can basically set up your hierarchy in the system. We have a feature we call containers that enables you to define your topology in accordance with maybe, you know, typically geographic uh, continents, you know, regions, offices, even floors, et cetera. It's very user definable. And allocation can be done with a few mouse clicks. You can say, sparsely allocate the next V6 block for a slash 48, and the system will do that. So very, um, very automated functionality just to kind of take away some of the arithmetic issues that may arise from going from a dot decimal environment uh, or adding to the dot decimal environment to a hexadecimal. Uh, we do enable the centralized planning and deployment of DHB DNS, again, based on that same consistent overall address plan within the system. Uh, Network Testing Labs has uh, lauded our product as being amazingly intuitive. And we do have the ability to support multiple addresses per node, whether they're V6, V4, or both. Uh, you can track multiple addresses per interface, per, per single interface device, multi-interface device. Uh, you can manage that or track that through IP control as well. And the administrator controls, very granular as well, along multiple dimensions in terms of functions that administrators can perform. On what part of the network can they perform them? Can I update DHCP DNS or not? So very granular in that regard. And in addition to deploying uh, information out to DHCP and DNS, we also provide a feedback loop within the system to be able to collect information uh, from the network as well. So certainly collecting DHCP address pools to track utilization, uh, listening for notify messages should DNS updates occur within the network, updating in that regard. And then from a host level, uh, also using DNS to look up PTR records, doing ping sweeps, although we don't offer a V6 ping sweep. It might take five million years. We're, we're still working on some technologies there, such as neighbor discovery, to, uh, to make that a little more efficient. And lastly, we do offer our product as software installable on your hardware. Uh, we support uh, Solaris, Red Hat, Linux, or Windows. But we also offer an appliance product, should you desire the simplicity and the security that appliances offer you. And uh, please visit us at our website, website at uh, www.bt.nip.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.